Well, this is good. The person that killed Jordan Neely, Daniel Penny, is going to be charged with manslaughter. Marine veteran Daniel Penny is expected to turn himself in as early as tomorrow in the chokehold death of Jordan Neely on a subway last week. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office says the charge will be second degree manslaughter. The maximum sentence, if convicted, 15 years in prison. Now it is news reporter Safan Kim is live in lower Manhattan where a vigil for Neely is being held. Safan. Well, Liz, protesters here held a rally just outside of City Hall before news broke of charges against Daniel Penny. But beyond an arrest, they have plenty of other demands, like more funding for social services. They also have plenty of anger for the mayor that won't be going away despite the charges. The DA's office confirming that Penny will be arrested on a charge of second-degree manslaughter. The second-degree charge suggests prosecutors believe Penny had no intention to kill Jordan Neely, but acted recklessly. The maximum penalty is 15 years. The Manhattan DA's office spent the weekend and much of this week interviewing and going over the accounts of witnesses who were on the train as well as reviewing multiple videos of the incident and while more videos have been recovered none show what happened before Penny put Neely in a chokehold. Prosecutors also consulted with the medical examiner's office and detectives and reviewed statements Penny made to detectives on the night of the incident. Taking all of that into consideration the DA's office decided to move forward with the charges without first going to a grand jury. A grand jury though will still hear the evidence against Penny which will occur in the week following Following his arraignment. The, today, meanwhile, the mayor reiterated that he's looking for a change in the state law to hold the most severely mentally ill against their will, for instance, if they're a danger to themselves. Demonstrators here angered by those comments. How dare a mayor insinuate that the only way he can help people is by incarcerating them into a hospital or ER? Yeah, that, that is not what we should be doing. We, we need to increase funding. Uh, for mental health services, give these people treatment so that they c can become, you know, functioning members of society or just function better in life and have a better quality of life instead of locking them away in a hospital. That's no different than locking them away in prison. When he continues to build upon an austerity budget that continues to cut the vital resources that we need. Now, Penny says, of course, he was defending himself and others after nearly harassed and threatened them. The 24-year-old Marine Corps veteran is expected to turn himself in tomorrow. Also tomorrow, the funeral for Jordan Neely in Harlem.